Hey Disney fans, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome, I hope you enjoy. For those of you returning, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great day thus far. As you can see, I finally did bite the bullet and I bought the new Aladdin Jasmine a limited edition doll set from Shop Disney. I kind of went back and forth and then just decided, you know what, I'm gonna get it because why not? Um, these are available online only. So if that is a set you wanna grab, make sure you head over to either Shop Disney's site in the US or Shop Disney site in the UK to grab one. They are still available on both. But today we're gonna to take a good look at these and I cannot wait to see them. All right, guys, so like I said, I did kind of go back and forth on this one. I had just purchased the Aurora set not too long ago, so I didn't know if I wanted to get another Platinum set this soon, especially with the Ariel set releasing here in just a few months. So I was like, I just, I, then I thought, you know what? Nope, I'm gonna regret it. So go ahead and grab it, Ian. It's gonna be worth it. You're gonna love it. So, all right, so I did go ahead and grab it. It did come today in the mail. Um, I'm pretty excited, honestly. I've only taken like a peek in the top one on the side window. I haven't actually taken anything off to look at them. Uh, but from what I've seen, I know there's only been like one or two other reviews on YouTube. They look amazing. So I was like, yep, all right, I'm gonna do it. So they are here. I'm gonna turn you guys around now. We're gonna take a really good look at the box. We'll get the box and the cover off and then we'll take a really good look at the doll. So stay tuned. All right, so this box is massive. It is so big. These platinum sets are, I guess, doll sets. They're not called platinum sets anymore. Are so massive, it's crazy. But you can see there, it is very similar to Aurora's with that, uh, the open window portion behind there only this one's clear, not frosted. But the way that the box opens is very, very similar. Has a really cool cutout here. I love this whole background on it. It looks a lot like um, like the Morocco, uh, Little Morocco they have at Epcot. It really reminds me of that a lot, which is awesome. I love the um, peacock motif there that they have. The new Aladdin um, logo is so cool. So it does say Disney Aladdin Jasmine and Aladdin collector doll set. So yep, nothing about platinum or the fact that this is a wedding set because that is what it is. This is limited edition one of 750. So much, much higher count than any other platinum set that's out there. I'm pretty sure everything else has been 650 and under with the lowest being the original animated Aladdin set at 250. So we'll go ahead and turn the box. We'll get our first little glimpse of Jasmine. All right, so the side, of course, has that same beautiful um, motif going on there. You can see the cutout kind of looks like one of the ones from one of the palaces. You can see, ho, ho, ho. Do you see Jasmine? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Look at these dolls, they're so gorgeous. So here is the back of the box. If you'd like to pause it, there you can. It does tell a little bit about the dolls and uh, you know kind of the details they have gone into making them. There it is again in French. And I swear, these things have the weirdest barcodes. I am not used to these kind of barcodes. Um, here again on the back is where they decided to display the Disney Store logo instead of on the front like they usually do. Um, and then this side, of course, is very similar to the other, only it shows Aladdin, so that's pretty fun. And then uh, they did keep the six plus though, that is on the front of the box. So now we're going to go ahead and open this up and uh, see what we can see. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? And this, oh, I've been looking forward to looking at it. I have not even looked at them yet. So this should be really, really interesting. So you can see there it is, of course, it has that like just a sheet of tissue paper to help protect. Ooh, are you guys ready? <laughs> I'm really excited. All right, so let's go ahead and get this peeled down here. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, this set is gorgeous. Okay, so before we're looking at the dolls, of course the same theme is carried out on this part of the box. The door's starting to shut on me. Um, it does have the really cool cutout and I'm kind of going through this part fast because I really want to see the dolls. I do have a little bit of a scuff mark, unfortunately, there on mine, but that's okay. There it just says Disney, Aladdin, Jasmine, and Aladdin. It doesn't show the limited edition size or anything like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get this cover off. We're gonna get this glare off and we are gonna take a really good look at these gorgeous dolls. Okay, so one thing I did wanna show you first though is that this one has no printing on it whatsoever. Like this plastic cover normally has like a motif there and then the insignia there. The only thing it has on it is the Aladdin logo for the movie. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I did wanna show that to you guys. 
Um, usually they do have the movie stuff right here and they don't, so it is what it is, but I'm okay with it. So now let's get this glare off so that we can take a good look at the dolls. Okay guys, I am shook. This set is amazing. I am so, so glad that I decided to go ahead and get them. I, oh my gosh, they're, they're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, and a lot of people had a really hard time with the price because they're like, oh, these things aren't worth $750 and blah, 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 blah. But the detail that is put into these, you're gonna see in just a second, they are amazing. So I'm gonna start with Aladdin first because obviously the movie's about him and that is just what we're gonna do. So. I can never pronounce his name, the actor. I don't think this looks like him very much, um, but again, it is what it is. So I'm gonna kind of scoot up a little here. Mine has kind of messy hair. I was a little bit disappointed by that. You can see it's kind of, keep trying to like push it down and that gets a little bit better. Might have to use some hairspray, but he does have a little iconic curl there. He is wearing his hat there. You can see it has a gold embroidered trim, which is really, really cool. You can see it on this side too. Um, really, really fine detail there. I do not know how his hat is attached to his head. I am not gonna mess with it. So coming down to his outfit, Aladdin's outfit features, and I'm gonna read this, a metallic foil print vest, tunic, pants, and fez with golden embroidered filigree, trims, buttons, and a belt decoration. So, a lot going on there. Many, many, many layers, it looks like. So you can see here, these are all pinned together, but um, he has like a, a gold orange vest on the inside. It's red lined on the inside. There is a gold trim. He has a teal lined overcoat. Um, just amazing, amazing detail on him. You can see there he's got like gold roping along the edges, these little gold findings with the teal jewel. I love whatever this is, this like screen printed stuff on there. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, he does have metallic buttons there on his shirt and we have the same um, metallic, probably it might, they might be metal, I don't know. I'm thinking they are because I'm pretty sure that's what it said. Um, little things there. I do not know what those are called, but I do like them quite a bit. You can see here better his sleeve, which is gorgeous. It's like a bright, bright orange. Has his little gold motifs on there that I absolutely love. He has this embroidered rose detail around his cuff. Absolutely amazing. I love this design. You guys, I don't know why I was not gonna get this set. I am so, so, so happy that I do have it. It is so gorgeous. So you can see here, there's actually a silver line and then a gold line and then the, the cream colored fabric here. It is stunningly beautiful. All the way down to this finishing piece here that is absolutely gorgeous, that geometric pattern there. Um, here's his belt buckle. This thing is so cool. I can't quite make out what it's supposed to be, but I do like it. It's pretty neat. I do I do like it quite a bit. Um, his pants, of course, have these really neat, uh, kind of a burnt orange brown trim and then a gold lining on there. His shoes are awesome. Uh, they look like, I mean, they say they're molded shoes, but they almost look like carved ivory. I really, really, really like them. His shoe over here, little wonky. There we go, I fixed it. Um, you can see there, I mean, the tails of his coat are quite long. Um, if you were to debox, they probably do uh, kind of flare out a little bit more than what they are. But you can see here is that um, inner coat that he's got on. It is pinned, of course. It has a teal lining. I just, oh my gosh, Aladdin is amazing they really 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 did a very good job i mean you only see this outfit for like a hot minute in the movie so the fact that they were able to pull all that detail that quickly and then put it all in a 17 inch size doll i am i'm yeah they did a really really good job with this set okay so now we're going to move on to the beautiful jasmine all right so on to jasmine I am going to read her description too. It says, Jasmine's ensemble of bodice, overskirt, and headscarf features golden embroidered trim and sparkling rhinestones, which doesn't even come close to cutting it with what is on this doll. She is absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna start at the top, of course. And I did forget to mention, of course, Aladdin does have rooted hair as well. But uh, Jasmine here, of course, has her long rooted hair. Beautiful, beautifully, beautiful style. Um, she is wearing her golden crown. It is metal with little encrusted jewels in there. She has more dramatic, longer rooted eyelashes than I think the 17 inch single doll has. 
but otherwise it is the exact same face mold. She does have gold earrings with some teal enamel in them, which I think is gorgeous, of course, on both sides. So you can see that there. Her headscarf, of course, is attached here at the top. It has this gorgeous teal trim, and then it is encrusted with these little tiny rhinestones all over it. And then down to the end here, where it has this little roping of gold beads, silver embroidery or lining there, this gorgeous like darker teal green, which my camera, I apologize, it is not picking that color up at all the right way, but it is more green than it looks there. And then a gold embossing on it, absolutely gorgeous. Her hair is cascading down so, so beautifully. Her bodice is intense. This is all, like findings people, like this is metal findings. Like this might be plastic, but I think this might be metal. Um, so it is all loose, but it is tied to the dress so it stays. But there's like these beautiful little jewels encrusted along her collar. There's the little um, bead piping there on the edge of her um, sleeve portion. I couldn't even think what I wanted to say there. Uh, there's more of these little encrusted jewels all along on the gold portion of her outfit, all the way down to this gorgeous belt that again has that little bead lining on it. Th this bodice is stunning. I am so, so thrilled with what they did here. Her skirt, of course, matches her head scarf. So it's got the little encrusted jewels all over it. Every now and then it has these little emblems kind of embossed into the fabric with a jewel in the middle of it. This gold embroidery that goes all the way down on both sides um, has the little uh, beaded edge there on both sides that goes all the way around and down it has uh, that same as the headscarf it has that same pattern right here just a little bit bigger and then this one has the little jewels encrusted that are the same color um, as the gold which I think just really sets it apart it's absolutely stunning it does have like a hot pink lining and then there's actually a few layers here so it's teal on one side, hot pink on the other, and then a, a really beautiful like burnt gold trim. Um, Jasmine, of course, is wearing her iconic pants. So she does have those on there. And then she does have on, they almost look to be the same shoes as what the 17 inch single version has, but I don't think they're the exact same. But uh, nonetheless, absolutely gorgeous. Very, very, very well done. Love this set. So, so glad I decided to buy it. The detail is amazing. I know they upped the number, but you know, it is what it is at that point. I think they figured everyone would kind of go nuts over this movie because it, you know, have been hyped up so much. Um, but the dolls, I mean, even the single Jasmine still available on Shop Disney. So, you know, it is what it is. But out of the 750, I did get number 370. So there is the card if you'd like to read it. Let's see if I can get no glare, there we go. Um, so there you can see that is the authenticity card. So pretty much right smack dab in the middle, <laughs> which is fine. Uh, I still think it's kind of fun, but I do absolutely love, love, love this set. So hopefully you guys do too. And if you've kind of been on the fence, hopefully my review will kind of help you make a decision. All right, Disney fans, well, I hope you enjoyed my little review here of the brand new uh, doll set from the Aladdin movie that just released just a few weeks back. I am thrilled to pieces that I own this set now. She's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, stock photos usually never seem to do justice to the dolls, truthfully. In person, these things are amazing. I really hope that this helped you kind of make a decision one way or the other, hopefully towards the good though, uh, as to whether or not you needed to get this set for your collection. Um, I am thrilled, just thrilled that it's a part of mine and oh my golly, absolutely gorgeous. I still haven't seen the movie. Oh my gosh, I need to go see this movie. I cannot believe I haven't seen it yet. We just have not had the spare time to go sit for a two hour movie. So I will do it, I promise. And when I do, I'll let you guys know my thoughts eventually. But from what I've heard, it's all good things and you just have to look at it as a separate Aladdin movie from the original that we all know and love so well. Alrighty guys, again, well, I hope you enjoyed. Like you said at the beginning, if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. This is what we do here on this channel. We do a lot of limited edition doll reviews, Disney pin hauls, shop Disney hauls, Disney store shopping hauls. It's all Disney blind bags, Mickey's mystery box, which I just got notification that mine shipped for this month. So I'm super thrilled about that. So like I said, if that's your thing, it's Disney make sure to hit that subscription button, smash that notification bell so that you know when our videos do come out. I do try to post 
at least three to four times a week if I can. Sometimes it's every day, sometimes I can only get in there a couple of times, but I do try to post as often as I can with material that I hope you guys will enjoy. Definitely guys, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please leave some comments down below. I love interacting with everybody. I love answering your questions. I love your thoughts. I love to hear uh, what you guys think of what it is that I'm presenting, and it just makes my day to chat with you all. Alrighty guys, well thank you again. I hope you're all having a very magical day, and we will see you real soon.